Continuing our series on sketching loosely, tip number two is design the edges. I'll give you some uh, illustration of what I mean by design the edges. I'll start with a uh, simple drawing of four different type of edges and then we'll go and take a look at a master's work and then we'll come back and give you a demo. The first example is hard edge. Basically all four sides of this square are very sharp defined edge. Um, that's basically what it is. The second type of edge is basically soft edge. So what I'll do is I'll just wet down uh, the lower part and then let the color spread like so and you can see that it is uh, becoming soft or very very diffuse type of etched. The third type of uh, separation between two shapes is something that you cannot see. You know there's a line somewhere between the two square but I painted right over it so that line is missing so in other words it's lost and you can't see it. Finally for sketching uh, lots of people will just do splattering and the splattering is meant to kind of uh, blur out the edge if you like. I didn't do a really good job here but you can see I made a mess out of it but you get the idea. Anyway, splat splattering is fun. So that's the intro for this video. Let's use an example from John Singer Sargent, uh, the dancer. Uh, this painting uh, will use the first one which is the hard edge you will see that uh, when I blow it up the lines are very sharp or at least sharper than the other parts of the painting uh, for example this is the soft edge uh, where the hat is you will see that uh, if I blow it up you will see the soft diffused edge between the boundary of the shapes and finally if you look at uh, one particular part where if you look at the legs of the guitar players, uh, they are lost. The legs are there, your mind knows it, it's there, but you cannot see it. If you zoom in, it's just a patch of black and that's lost, essentially, uh, the lost edges. So I hope you get a good idea of what uh, hard, soft and lost edges are all about. Okay, let's use these three apples. I will put a link uh, of this photograph in the description below uh, as example for our simple demo of uh, illustrating hard, soft, and lost edges. Okay, let's just do a simple drawing of the apple. It's not gonna be accurate, forgive me for that, but uh, I'm just gonna illustrate what I'm trying to say. As you can see, I didn't even bother to draw the bottom of the apples because I'm gonna make it lost edges. Um, so let's start with the red apple, shall we? Leaving juicy uh, highlights all over the place. So you can see that I am actually painting the shadow or the bottom part of it. Uh, and so you can't separate between the apple and the shadow. So the boundary between the two is lost. And that's what I mean by lost edge right here. You can see that most of the other edges are pretty hard. And uh, between the highlight and the red and the highlight and the green, they are all very hard edge right now. Even the bottom part of the shadow is quite hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften the edges. You can see that I'm softening up. Um, well, at least first I'm reducing the moisture uh, and I'm using water and just to kind of soften up um, the edge. If I can just uh, manage to do that. Yeah, so uh, you can see that the edge at the bottom is being softened up, right? I continue to load um, darker colors, soften more edges. Uh, and taking off some of the moisture as well. Uh, I'm, you know, I originally used permanent alizarin crimson with green gold. Uh, I'm gonna put in a bit of uh, French ultramarine for the shadow part of it, and I'm very careful to to make sure that I'm also using soft edge for the shadow, and uh, a bit of dark for the stem of the apples, um, and a bit of dark uh, for the bottom of the stem as well as the two, uh, the touching part of the apples. Now, I'm going to uh, put in a bit of uh, uh, darker colors, but I'm, I'm also going to soften uh, the edge. So as you can see, I'm softening some of the edges at the highlight so that they are not so jarring. In other words, some parts of the highlight are hard edge, some parts are soft edge uh, as I soften, off soften it. Just for fun, I splatter some as well. 
uh, not very elegant splattering, but this is a demo, <laughs> right? But you get what I'm trying to say. So there you go, uh, hard, soft, uh, lost and splattered edges. Okay, let me show you some example of my other works. Uh, same thing, right? I have uh, soft, hard, as well as lost and splattered edges uh, right in this sketch. And the next one is the same thing, the two cherry. In fact, this is from my very first uh, video uh, tutorial when I rebooted my YouTube channel. So you can see that from these two examples, I used the hard, soft, lost and splattered edges quite judiciously, right? I hope you can take some of this as inspiration and use some of these in your own work. So stay safe wherever you are and always learn from the master. All right, bye.